Hi, I'm Tony, Tony Cobbley Photography, and this is a recording of my 15 minute business presentation on the importance of photography for marketing. And this is the sort of thing I can deliver at business events, networking events, uh, all sorts of sort of business or marketing related functions. And I can do it either on Zoom, like we're doing here, or in normal times, I can uh, do it as a kind of uh, presentation with a projector. So uh, I'm going to share my screen with you and just show you the presentation here. Uh, so it's this kind of 15 minute version, uh, but I can sort of make this tailored to really anything from uh, sort of five minutes to an hour. But uh, see what you think of this. And uh, basically, um, it's all about how important photography is for your marketing. And we're going to look at why quality image is so important. Uh, understanding your brand, how to uh, get your brand, your message into a, a brief for a photographer. <clears throat> uh, capturing and showing your people, which is a really important part of your business profile. Uh, how to select the right photographer. And then a bit of a look at um, legal uh, copyright issues, that sort of thing. And um, when to use your own pictures and, uh, and when not to. And then if it was a live event, I would do uh, questions and discussions at the end. Um, but today I'll just give you my contact details if you wanna send me any uh, messages. Uh, so why do we need quality images? Um, I'm using my photos throughout this presentation just to show you examples of what I do. Um, and um, that's not saying, you know, use me, use me. It's more of a kind of, here's what I do, here's some examples. Uh, so uh, the reason we need quality images is to draw potential customers in to our marketing materials. And um, we're always told that first impressions are really important. And we only get the first chance to make one. And that's the thing, really. If you look at a page, uh, there might be a fantastic design. There might be great typography. There might be an amazing logo. But the most real thing to the human eye is usually the photograph. So uh, that really needs to stand out and to catch the eye and be very on brand to you. Um, poor images will really kind of let quality marketing material down. Um, and um, I always say it's not just good enough being the best at what you do. Um, you have to let the world see how good you are. And you know, that's where images come to, uh, to show the world. Um, and commissioned images, uh, where you get a photographer into photograph your organization. They're very powerful because they're relevant and personal to only your business. Uh, and all of this combines to mean that you're optimizing your marketing. You're really getting the best use out of all your marketing materials. So brand is the thing really. Um, what I do is called commercial photography. It's, it's exactly that photography for branding. <clears throat> and, um, Really, this is all about understanding what the message um, of your organization is and uh, getting the photographer to communicate that. So, you know, as a photographer, um, or as photographers, we need to really understand the DNA of your business, understand what it's about, and what your messages are to your clients, potential clients. And, um, you know, here's a couple of examples of very different brands just to see how, how that works. You know, the one on the left is brand values such as luxury, quality, and relaxation. Um, and the one on the right is much more hard-nosed and uh, no nonsense. Um, you know, so we've got a, a picture of somebody relaxing in a beauty spa, and then we've got a picture of a health and safety executive at a petroleum company. So very, very different brands, uh, but whatever the brand is, is what we need to communicate. Um, excuse the pun here but uh, make sure the photographer gets the point of your business and uses a style that fits. So, you know, once a photographer understands what you're all about, they can then kind of put a style into place, plan the shoot, plan the lighting, et cetera, plan the backgrounds so that, you know, you get really good quality images that, that fit your sector. And if it was a longer presentation, I could show lots of examples of, you know, different types of moods and styles and backgrounds and colors and things that, that represent different types of organization. People, people are your business and how you show your people is a really important part of your brand. Um, so, you know, 
just a few examples of mine here, but loads of different styles around and ways that you can um, have your people photographed. So have a look at different styles, find one that fits your brand and, you know, get a photographer to do it for you. And then once you've got that style, you know, get a, a very similar style, get a consistent style of that image uh, for everybody so that that really sits well on the design of wherever you're using it, normally a website, and, uh, you know, keeps everything consistent and on brand. And make it easier on yourself. You know, photographers these days can come out to you. You know, we can come to you, build studios in your boardroom, office, home, whatever. And, uh, you know, it's all super comfortable. You know, you don't waste much time going to a studio. You are uh, nice and relaxed because you're in your environment. Um, you, you, um, you, you can change outfits if you want. Everything's super relaxed. Don't get your hair messed up on the way to the studio. And you've got all your stuff there. So you can do anything you want. Um, you know, in a studio based in your office. So the moral of this is just make it easier on yourself. Photography is fun, it's a pleasant experience, and, you know, we're there to make it easy for you. Professional photographers will, you know, provide not just good pictures, but an experience you will enjoy. Um, selecting the photographer. So we're all a bit different. We've all got our different specialities and our different own styles. Um, so, you know, find a photographer you might want to use that you're interested in and check out his or her portfolio <clears throat> and you know make sure that they have a style that fits your brand um, also good to chat you know zoom this thing here is so handy for you know talking uh, without using much time up at all and you know, getting to meetings and things so you know talk to them make sure you get on um, it's a very chemistry thing photography it's important that you're on the same wavelength and we'll talk about this a bit later in more detail, but make sure you, um, you know, check terms and conditions and qualifications and licensing and things later on. And um, you know, make sure they're, they're based in the right sort of area. And then you can put together a brief. And you know, this can be quite an informal thing. It doesn't have to be a formal document, but it's important that you know what you want and that you communicate what you want to the photographer so that you know what they're going to supply, you know what you're going to get, they know what they're going to do. And this is where, you know, thinking about your brand message, talking to photographers about, you know, how do we get a shot that shows this, um, the experienced photographer will then be able to suggest creative ideas and concepts to do that. And they will also be really good at estimating how long it will take to do and what resources you'll need in terms of people, locations, uh, and so on. So, you know, you can plan it out and make the best use out of people's time. And um, it's quite good to combine aspects of a photo shoot on one day. Um, it might be an industrial company who want pictures of widgets being made, uh, but you might also want interior pictures of your factory, exterior shots of the company. You might want to do some headshots of your um, directors or your staff. Um, there might be all sorts of different things uh, you want to get. You might want to get a kind of social media type picture of something group wise um, to, to go out for PR. Uh, but if a shoot's well planned, you can really get a lot of stuff done in a day and make very good use out of um, the, the, the time. Uh, show your locality. So um, this is what us photographers call stock images. Images, scenic ones usually that we shoot, um, which aren't commissioned. So, uh, you know, we, we can sell them time and time again to different people, and people can buy them with a license to use them on their websites or brochures. And a uh, great way just to make a soft message on your website. For example, uh, we're based in Exeter rather than writing a paragraph on we're based in Exeter and it's a lovely town in the southwest with a river and a bridge. Uh, just put a picture in there, you know, it does the same thing, but it's much nicer on the eye. Um, Similarly, the one on the right is very generic, could be anywhere on the coast in the southwest maybe, uh, but it gives a flavour of the region that your organisation is based in. So, uh, you know, don't be afraid to use images in that kind of subtle way as well. And then, uh, when to use snaps from your phone, your own photos. Now, um, here's a picture I took on my phone of me working. And, um, you know, these sort of shots are great for behind the scenes type live documentary shots, which, which work really well on social media every day, just to show kind of what you're up to. And yes, this is what I do. And this is happening now. Um, really, really good stuff for social media. Um, and, you know, this is me doing a shoot. 
but I'm still kind of thinking of my brand. I'm thinking, well, let's see when we get the logo in there and let's get the camera in so people can see I'm a photographer and let's like get the background really interesting so there's loads of stuff going on. Um, so it's, it's, it's quite sort of random uh, in appearance, but actually it's, it's kind of carefully thought out. And these shots work really well, but I wouldn't recommend using them for what I call front end shop window images, which are, you know, the front pictures on your website, brochures, uh, banners, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it might not look um, slick and professional enough for, for that purpose. So um, you know, time and a place for different styles of shot. Um, just a quick look at legal stuff. Um, all I would say here is just make sure you agree this before the shoot because different photographers have different terms and you know it's just a case of you know what they're including within their price. Um, most companies I, I, I feel these days want to want to get um, permission, image permission for perpetual, in other words forever, uh, perpetual usage of all their images forever on any kind of media. So you, you might want to use pictures on website, brochure, social media, everything, but forever. Um, it's possible that if a photographer, for example, comes to do a photo shoot for you and you say, oh, we're doing a new website, we need some photos, uh, they do a shoot. And you might not spot that in their small print, they've said, oh, it's a shoot for the website. If you want to use the pictures for anything else, you'll have to pay us again and you know it's perfectly legal to do that uh, but um, you know you need they, they should be very transparent I'm very transparent with my terms I, I include everything you might want to do with them um, but that's just me um, I'm not cheap but if you hire me you get permission for anything you might want to do with the images ever uh, but it, you can easily get caught out if you don't check this. So make sure the photographer is giving you permission to do everything you possibly want to with them. Um, most of the time, the Copyright Design and Patents Act 1988 tends to come down on the side of the creator. If things aren't in writing um, to the, the, the copyright holder, which would be the photographer. So um, avoid any of that legal stuff and just make sure you agree everything up front and, and make sure they're being very transparent with what they offer. Uh, and then, yeah, make sure the photographer is qualified and um, has all the appropriate policy documents and insurance, DVS, all that sort of stuff, health, health and safety. Um, it's a difficult one for clients in time because photography is completely unregulated. You know, many of us are properly qualified with professional qualifications and all their policies in place and operate to a high professional standard. But there are many who, you know, literally just bought a camera a couple of weeks ago and decided to call themselves a professional photographer. And there's everything in between as well. So it can be very difficult to discern what is the right level of professionalism. So, you know, check them out, really, really sort of make sure they've got the stuff um, and if they're not listing qualifications, experience, and all that on their website, you know, ask them, and uh, you'll know where you are. Um, and if you've if you've done all this, you've got legal permission for everything, and you've created great photos with the photographer, um, and you, you've got images that are really on brand. Look at all the great things you can use them for. You can put images on your website, your brochure, your social media channels your banners, you can put them on the side of a bus if you want, uh, press releases for PR, print them off your office walls, um, annual reports, really good to use images for, and you can build an ongoing image, image, a company image library, so that you've got a source of good pictures whenever you might need one to put on a document or anything. Um, this example is particularly relevant. I shot this for the National Trust, just on a um, kind of property shoot for, for one of their locations. And uh, they ended up not, not only using it for that, but using it for the cover of the Devon National Trust Guide, um, on social media campaigns, uh, on some uh, stuff on their website, and, and also uh, I think I saw it on a bus stop. So it's great, we love it. Photographers love it when our pictures are used widely and uh, you know, clients do that, it's great. Um, so, you know, get lots of use out of the resulting images. 
Uh, so this is now where we would do questions and discussion uh, if it's a live event. It's not live, so uh, feel free to get in touch with me with any questions and queries. We've talked about all sorts of things from brand messages to how to commission a photographer to understand the brief, to make sure you get all the legal stuff in place and know what's happening, make sure the photographer's got all the professional um, standards there. And we've looked at sort of where you can use images. So any questions regarding that stuff, feel free to um, connect on social media or ping me an email. Um, love to hear from you. And um, if you have a business event coming up um, and you'd like me to present this face to face or via Zoom, I'd be really happy to talk to you. Meanwhile, thank you very, very much indeed for watching. And um, I look forward to seeing you again somewhere. <laughs>